start in the name of allah who is merciful and most beneficent dear students today we are going to discuss post colonial literature the term post colonialism widely refers to the representation of race ethnicity culture and human identity in modern era mostly after many colonized countries got their independence it is connected with imperialism from the moment colonization until 21st century the word imperialism derives from the latin which has a numerous meaning including power authority command dominion uh, realm and empire it describes many interactions between colonizer and colonized now the two things are there one is colonizer and the other is colonized got it so specifically uh, the british empire consisted of more than a quarter of all territory on the surface of the earth one in four people was a subject of queen victoria it is the literature and the art produced in the countries such as india sri lanka nigeria and australia after their independence so now it is being linked with that sort of country which were being ruled by british empire and after the ruling there was some sort of culture there was some sort of power authority ethnicity race etc etc as yesterday we were discussing that uh, angrez have gone but their culture is still there as we are using their uh, still we are using pencil we are using tie we are using the technology is given by them this is some sort of the thing and he is saying that <clears throat> the one is colonizer and the other is colonized so edward said prominent book orientalism is an assessment of western representation of the eastern culture under the label post colonial studies yes western is there but the eastern are under their power under their culture under their race under their ethnicity under their culture under their uh, you can say authority and same is the thing there if we are not uh, living in the same sort of you can say now we are living uh, in a freedom we are free but we are being imposed by the rules by the culture of the colonizer and we are colonized after the independence till yet even in the 21st century we are saying that we are living in the modern age but the thing is that uh, we are using the same thing as it was being used earlier so now we'll discuss the post colonial literature in english how it is linked with english this is now the question one of the most influential novel of post colonialism is things fall apart it was being published in 1958 after the independence of pakistan 11 years of independence of pakistan by exploring the interaction between traditional african society and british british colonizers in this novel the character many characters struggles to understand the cope up with the changes got from the christianity and british control and the novel examines various section occurred after the post independence fictional western african village south african novelist and book prize winner j m courtesy explored the themes of crime revenge and lands uh, rights and the racial justice post apartheid south africa in the most of the novel he represents his own elimination from his fellow african so yes uh this is the thing uh when uh, uh after the independence some th- things are being written like things fall apart and uh the same characters are representing that how the things are being colonized by colonizer they were the colonizer and we are the colonized and the same is the thing within the english literature we were following the rules we were following the authority we were following the gesture we were following the posture we were following the each and everything by the british empire and now we are saying that we are independent on the other hand we are not and nowadays as the current scenario in pakistan you can look that as it is being stated that imported 
government is also there as per the narrative of Imran Khan as it is being stated by him and his followers that this is some sort of not a good thing that when someone is going to do some sort of mudakhlat or sazish same or both are same but the narrative is being changed that the sazish is not there but mudakhlat is there <coughs> so the next one is the central ideas in post colonial literature yes post colonial has many common motives and themes like cultural dominance as we are discussing that what is post colonialism term now we are going to discuss that the central ideas which are being discussed in the post colonial literature first of all cultural dominance when colonizer is being imposed on the colonized through the culture when they are they have left but their culture is still there as the first example is there same is there we are copying their culture we are copying their culture within the sort of dress within the sort of eating within a sort of drinking within a sort of living standard you can see that how we are copying them even we are not using uh, uh, as it was in the earlier that we were uh, eating the food with the hand and we were saying that allah will reward with that we are eating with the hand but now we are using spoon that we are modern got it and we are using pencil we are using tie we are using etc etc different things just to justify that we are modern but on the other hand the thing is that that we are colonized we are colonized and uh, cultural dominance is there number second racism yes as this is the common theme that the, in the africa and the, you can say uh, in the america the, the the thing is there that how the black culture and the black people were neglected that it is being called negros and the mr obama was there and as you have seen that the movements were there and they were being super uh, you can say the super vians and the same is the thing but now the culture is there that how the racism is impacting our society you can see that how we are suffering from racism and uh, the next one is a uh, quest for identity yes when identity is the very important thing in this era everyone is having some sort of identity you can't survive you can't go without your identity and everyone is looking for a good identity either it is being colonized or either it is being uh, you can say supervised something like that you are looking for your good identity as in the modern era you are saying that we should have sound identity and the next one is inequality along with the some uh, peculiar presentation style most of the post colonial writer reflected and demonstrated many thematic concept which are quite connected with both colonized and colonized just white and uh, black people as you say as i have earlier said that uh, in the america africa same other thing there now i am recommending you a novel uh, by Toni Morrison a writer is Toni Morrison and the novel is beloved this is the recommendation of this semester you have to read this novel and then you will understand the concept of white and black now this is a some sort of assignment for you for this semester that you have to read the novel beloved by Toni Morrison okay this is some sort of thing that will be that your concept will be very clear that how the things were being imposed by a colonizer on the colonized got it and the uh, uh, last one is uh, that how post colonialism and its reflection when post colonialism was there obviously the reflection will be there so there are various uh, reflection of the post colonial literature in terms of theories and conception the post colonialism examine both the colonial texts and literature written after colonialism these theories connected post colonial literature with the many field like history politics philosophy and literary traditions and its significance in present and society yes some sort of uh, significance and the reflection is there number 1 is there uh, there it is being with the politics as we are saying that we are the muslim and we are the islamic state and we are going to build the riyasat e madina but on the other hand we are following the constitution given by the goras 
सेम इज़ द थिंग इज़ देयर दैट हाउ पोस्ट कलोनियलिज्म पोस्ट कलोनियल लिटरेचर एंड देयर इफेक्ट्स एंड द नंबर सेकेंड इज हिस्ट्री यस हिस्ट्री इज़ आल्सो देयर वी आर कॉपिंग द हिस्ट्री फ्राम गिवन बाई दम एज द सेम इज़ द थिंग विद द हिस्ट्री ऑफ इंग्लिश लिटरेचर एंड द फिलासफी यस फिलासफी इज़ आल्सो देयर एंड द लास्ट वन इज लिटरेरी ट्रेडिशन आर देयर दिस इज़ द सम सॉर्ट ऑफ इम्पोर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट एंड देयर रिफ्लेक्शन आर देयर सो विद दैट सम सॉर्ट ऑफ थिंग एंड विद द मोस्ट प्रोमिनेंटली नेगेटिव लिटरेचर इंक्लूड द पोइट्री ऑफ लिपॉड एंड द एम ई सिस्पेयर स्पेशली इन रिटर्न ऑफ माई नेटिव लैंड सो वी आर गोइंग टू कंक्लूड द लेक्चर वी कैन से इनफैक्ट एज द पोस्ट क्लोनियल लिटरेचर डील विद द फ्रेमिंग आइडेंटिटीज द पॉलिटिक्स री राइटिंग ट्रांसलेशंस रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन नेशन एंड नेशनलिज्म दिस इज द थिंग रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन नेशनल एंड नेशनलिज्म इट इज़ अ मोस्ट डोमिनेंट फॉर्म ऑफ लिटरेचर एंड इट हैज़ अ ग्रेट अपील पोस्ट क्लोनियलिज्म मोस्टली डील with many concept like culture now we are going to conclude and we are summarizing that how we have discussed the thing we have discussed the culture political geographical psychological and post structural etc etc it is also major literature which helps the understanding both colonizer and the colonized as we are were discussing the very first term that which is being uh, justified and which is being stated that colonial uh, colonizer is there and the second is colonized and in many concern like education yes as i was uh, discussing the thing and the <laughs> dressing and some other things so like education is there and the third and the second one is politics is there geography culture and custom so with these some sort of theories and with these some some sort of concept we can uh, conclude this lecture that how the post colonial literature and the uh, impact of literature and as well as impact of post colonialism and the post colonial literature in english literature that's all